I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. The light is turned on, and I do not see a light switch. There! I have completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Happy to help. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel.
It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood. So I think he was actually killed in the water. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume, it was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight, very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent, that is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Click, click, click. <coughs> Boop. Click, 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 click. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Wait up, eager beaver.
Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Howdy, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight, we're the Feds. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas who's in a pot who Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state-of-the-art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. 
Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. The primary function of the Blood Tron 3000, trademark, patent pending, is to analyze the blood sample and the bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Procure a swab or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with the bloody object and I, I mean the Blood Tron 3000. Trademark will confirm a positive match. For thirty two million nine hundred and twenty one thousand and fifty six eight point one eight five three five two seven seven two locked off. Yes. One, a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party light, it's 1999. It should be. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest Tron 3000 trademark patent pending. Using official government issue fingerprint tape. Place it on an object with fingerprints, and the fingerprint will be transferred. It's around here somewhere. I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. You're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventeen miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. At its closest orbit, the Sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. The primary function of the Phase 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Procure an official law enforcement camera, then to use camera with dead body. The Phase 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure, whatever. Subroutine exit A. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state of the art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, 
But we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run Areno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your ticket. There has to be something. The day rundle. The arrest run 3000 trademark S primary function is to take reports from the blood run 3000 trademark. The finger drawn 3000 trademark and the face drawn 3000 trademark and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. After the arrest drawn 3000 trademark, generate the arrest warrant. The scumbag criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. If they weren't guilty, they wouldn't have been arrested. The arrest run 3000 trademark is infallible. Skipping a trial spares the family's pain and suffering and millions in court costs. The arrest run 3000 trademark is infallible. The arrest run 3000 trademark. The arrest run 3000 trademark. Core dump in progress. Rebooting. Loading check 3.4. Loading drivers. Loading high mem dot size. Welcome to arrest run 3000. Trademark 64k RAM system 38911 basic bytes free. Ready. Close program. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. 
Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It's an odd looking plumber's wrench. there let's go over to the counter where we can talk all righty now i can't quite put my finger on it but this place stinks of false advertising sorry about that hun this used to be ricky's cakes but now we sell vacuum tubes what an exciting life you lead anyway i'm special agent ray i have some questions for you oh pleased to meet you i'm ricky lee and i'm the proprietor of this little store what can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. You're naive to be so trusting. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hun, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hun. Just holler if you need me.
Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's my lawyer's business card. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, f face. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. 
and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you! It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'll just take the big bucks. Now there's the face I love. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Well, f you. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe, Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 11 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do! 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me! Not my problem! F you, I'm out of here! Hmm. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Tough da. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. Lots of surprises! Oh, so you decided to pay up! Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Here, yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. 
Now scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off, Brent. Come on over. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like, it. we can do better. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you. Lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a f toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a f rhinoplasty. Hey, you. Kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This f makeup isn't coming off! You old lady, you up the you come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady, she was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. She curses you, it's not an empty threat, something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that. Old My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him.
Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Tell me more about Chuck. Uncle Chuck was powerful, rich, and surrounded himself with beautiful things. He's everything I aspire to be, sweetie. Without his inventions and money, we'd still be chicken farmers instead of society's elite. You want to be like your uncle? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I even named my son Chucky after his great uncle. So deep was our connection. I'm sure that will be reflected in the will. Things will change around here when I take control of the Edmund family fortune. So if you aren't turning tricks, what are you doing dressed like that? If you must know, I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive so we can go to the will reading. And FYI, grief is no excuse to look like garbage. Then what's your excuse? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company, Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish, only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever.
Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting, there's a modem number to call. Digging, digging, digging in the front green. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. There's a sign there. Better read it first. It says, out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. 
You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by... It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some more and try again. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by... Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some more and try again. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by... Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question, what is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some more and try again. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by... Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question, what is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? 
Ah, yes, you know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm... I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Carefully handling broken glass. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink.
That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. It's closed. The glass is now filled with water. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Digging in the front green. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. <sighs> now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad, stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck? Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first...
Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand, Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Not a chance. The Feds never give up. Or should I say, the Fed Arenos never give up. I see. Now you're mocking me. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> so, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? 
No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. Do you have any maps of the county? Oh, sorry, Dudette. We're all out of them. Sheriff Arino came by and nabbed them all. <laughs> Didn't even pay for them. Uncool. Way uncool, man. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. I'm going to look around your store. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement, you get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of... odd Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. 
Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think? He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there, the Copytron 3000. Then, keep going. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you. If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Seventeenth Amendment? No. That establishes the direct election of the United States Senators by popular vote. Don't you mean the Twenty-Second Amendment? No, that limits the number of times that a person can be elected president. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman on the road with a suspicious animal. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Attention, all units! It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. The Copytron takes nickels. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie Pal humor. Here you go. We should split up. 
Sure, I'll carry your crap. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the diner and a possible car accident. Attention, all units! It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. What a nice copy, and in color, too. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks legit Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the Quickie Pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean... We can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face Tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We need a fingerprint match. Using the finger Tron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. We need a blood match, using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs> You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. 
Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's know says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuck Abu always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. He can't hear me. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Phlegm Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who... was on MTV and... tells me what's sweet. OMG, YOLO, hashtag trust me. Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? 
I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I've got a groovy friend who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! Nah, just teasing. Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad! You can't tell me what to do! Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? I'm not using that. Chuck's probably monitoring every keystroke. Hello, Mr. Edmund. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who was on MTV and... Tells me what's hip, daddy-o. Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who... was on MTV and... tells me what's the cat's pajamas and what's the bee's knees. Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who... was on MTV and... tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who what do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No duh. Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace. Later, dude. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near.
Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Franklin, um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite, Abu, for you on the sixth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Zappa. Whoa, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. I need to get something photocopied. I still don't have enough paper, Abu, to do photocopying. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. Hmm, that's not right. It's gone blank. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir, Abu. Huh, some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help, Abu. Are you happy now? I've done everything you ask.
Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should go to my room and prepare. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel. But those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds. Interesting development. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym. What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Frank Zappa. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with a large nose check into? It was a room on the sixth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. That worked. I have a blood sample.
It's too soggy to put in the bloodtron. It's working. The paper is drying out. Open up. Federal agents. Keep your panties on. I'm coming. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. Ransom the Clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez. No foreplay, Red? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're gonna have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f alone. Thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my ex-wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my creepy clown face and Paul Jean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total Scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Package held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not gonna search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Well, 
you, Georgie, you lazy. What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? The rat's having more fun at this than I am. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. Here you go, Lil Beeper. Enjoy your crap. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. F you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. Who do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Have you seen my dime? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah, with your ugly face. I drink every time I pass the mirror. Huh, <laughs> you're one to talk. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor who got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an Hey, buy me a drink? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So, I guess we both look like... Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line, because it's too easy. 
But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated that too. Really? Yeah, that arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me! You! Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Oh, Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I going to do with this piece of... Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Here's a bloody wallet. I hope you get hepatitis. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? Ugh, that's... Terrible. 
Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship-shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. He already knows I'm a federal agent. That tape is for official government business only. But since you're a fed, just go easy. We're almost out of it. Go easy on the tape. We're almost out. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Tell me what you know about a guy named Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. And in the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Chuck must have had a reason to ruin you. I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any ransom swag? The future is never written. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Okay, so spill it. Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. <sighs> but if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. I'm pretty sure that's a controlled substance. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay. I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Enough. I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? 
Here you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can. No matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but the spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss you off. What's your deal? There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into this voodoo crap? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. That wasn't the answer I was expecting. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. I suddenly feel like I picked the wrong profession. Why did you open in this crap hole town? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy, like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Dig in! All gassed up.
I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. I don't want to pick that up. There's something here. An ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. I don't want to pick that up. I can't open that. Cast your lot before it's too late. I think I found your mushrooms. Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. What did you see? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I feel I've been had. Goodbye. Whatever. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. The door is spinning ridiculously fast. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? 
You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe Abu so. Well, there you go. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Frank Zappa. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the sixth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? What's going on with the front door? It does that sometimes, and everyone worries that the hotel's boo-hoo haunted. But it usually fixes itself at some point, Abu, within a couple of days. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost? You're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay? Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. That tickles. Also surprisingly easy. The elevator isn't on this floor. job scaring someone in the lobby instead of talking to me you don't want to make Xavier mad Now, deep breath. Now, deep breath. Oh. 
Oh. I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. The effect would be better if someone was using it. The effect would be better if someone was using it. That doesn't use electricity. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. Hello. Oh. The effect would be better if someone was using it. Boo. Just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Not bad. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. I have to get back to work now. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. that happen? Something spooky is going on. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking fountain? It's, um... Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost. Average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge.
It doesn't seem to be working. Wasn't there a tube up there before? It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. It's a spare AT-25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full.
Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Diggin! Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. Ah, <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh! You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything?
Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. Hello, Agent Ray. That should fix it. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Arrest Lily Tilino for the murder of Boris Lux. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent Arenos actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Arino. Oh. Blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. <gasps> ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Arino. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Arino, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Areno? Have at him. Okay. Who wants to play bad cop and who wants to play good cop? Um... I'll play good cop. I'm the bad cop, and she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm Jack the Ripper. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I took the beef. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I'm the Zodiac Killer. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh... There is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock.
Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. Stop by my booth. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Calling all geeks! ThimbleCon 87 is now open! Shut up in there! Everyone knows it's impossible to make a good movie of Lord of the Rings. Welcome to ThimbleCon 87. Later tonight, Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes! Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scum Abu contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well, Thimble Conabu just opened to record crowds. How else may I be a boo of service? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, a boo. All circuits are busy. Please try again later. It's a rare working Phonetron 3000. They can handle hundreds of phone calls. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. 
It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old Pillow Factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my ex-wife. Okay, I need to break into that Pillow Factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! The doors are closed. Well, back to work, Abu. Calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. Calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers, but I'll give it a try. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know, a, a ghost? For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. What can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator, and I can't get any. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. Bye, Clara. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed. And more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello? Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is... Finish this popular political ad slogan. Where's the blank? That's correct. Here's your second question. What was Jenny's phone number? Aw, oh, too bad. That's not correct. And your final question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? You got it! Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name? 
Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your roomie. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your roomie. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We sent a package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Here's your package, Boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. He was made the scapegoat and the fire blamed on him. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the pillow factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package, Abu, for you. Yes! It's my father's watch! Feds! Ransom, what are you doing here? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my nickname. 
Well, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What nickname Abu are the tickets under? Ah, yes, here's that name Abu on the list. What are you still doing here, Abu? What's your problem? You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Calling all... Hi there. You take this for a while. Shut up in there! Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. Unless I see proof, I won't believe it. How else can I help you, Dolores? Are you an expert on cosplay as well? Just the legalities of cosplay. It's a fascinating intellectual property question. By cosplaying, you appear to represent the company, so their trademark... That's okay. I don't need to know the details. How else can I help you, Dolores? Bye. See you later, Dolores. Pew! 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 What good is a check stub? It doesn't prove anything. I'd need the actual canceled check as proof. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. I should wait until he's off the phone. These obscene folk calls are getting annoying. How can I help, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes. This handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry. How can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, Safely First Savings. I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Pew, pew, pew. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever.
My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. The will is decoded. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no. I have a problem then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. No more thimbleberries? 
It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. <laughs> yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days? And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. I've heard those stories too. And then there's the old bear problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in wells. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Thanks! Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here are the thimbleberries you need to make a pie. And also, your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go make it now. Won't be a jiffy. Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Mr. Balowick, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Oh, 
It's just the flap doodle again. What do you, you know, want to eat? I'm rather fond of ice cream cake, but Xavier says I can't leave the elevator. Bye, Clara. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. See you soon, Virgil. Pew! 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 I wonder what the guest... Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. Voila, now it's ice cream ghost cake. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well... I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash and then I woke up dead. I think we were all well. There is something creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching Skiing for Cash. That show is so funny. What's your favorite, you know... TV show again. Skiing for cash. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fusterlugs and a clasomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know, we... Can I... you know, please go to the penthouse now. Oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <sighs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good, it's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. 
I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. The future is never written. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? Huh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. Thank goodness you're back. What's your favorite, you know, TV show again? Skiing for Cash. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Bye and good luck, Clara. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. What is that on the TV? Omar, it's my favorite, skiing for cash. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now.
Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. The book is glowing. It's time to it's time to Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. It looks ready for me to say the spell. It looks ready for me to say the spell. It looks ready for me to say the spell. The flower looks good here, but I need to know what words to say to cast the spell. Oh. It's glowing, but I can't read the text. Maybe I'm not the one who's supposed to read it? Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbonius Jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Now, all three of Chuck Edmonds' stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmond, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? and that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh my. Ooh, <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print, Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as you'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing, Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving.
Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. Hello, Safely First Savings, your- Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take things here, it's a bank. I'm a federal agent and I need to confiscate this key. I don't care who you are, you'll do no such thing on my watch. Is this an obscene phone call? I wish I could get them. It's out of order, but how is it ringing? Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is this an obscene phone call? I need to keep them on long enough. The elevator isn't on this floor. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Whoa. Is that you again? Mo. It sounds like you, but I'm not sure. Ooh. I'm almost certain you're the same obscene caller as before. Whoa. It is you. That's right. Keep it your moaning. I'll get you. Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Rattle, rattle, chains, chains. Why do you think you can waste my time like this? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. The key fits.
Not leaving Dad's watch behind. I need to find the correct time to set it to. It's a map of the abandoned factory. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 9.30. I was cute as a kid. I miss dad. There's his watch in the photo. I'm innocent. If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. I know you're innocent. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. I'm sure I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise. Play me some theremin music. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. I don't trust you. Pew, pew, pew! Starships in bottles, handmade. How do you make the starships so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise? So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you. 
What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Trek. Congratulations! You've won a replica of the starship Isabella. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Apparently, you can win big prizes in the Ransom Lookalike contest. The actual prizes are listed here in the fine print. First prize is a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. Second prize is a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. Third prize is an easy listening theremin record by Saiken. First prize is a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Mmm. 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 Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the pie. Sorry. Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We've seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. Sorry, we are out of salad. Eh, aphid scare. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Bye for now. Anytime. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go.
You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. Just order your food and get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I ought to know. I, uh... Gotta go! <laughs> I feel better now. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? I miss Thimbleweed Park. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Ugh. Oh, <sighs> I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Shut up in there! Every child will want an Ewok toy to cuddle with! Shut up in there! No one will ever carry a computer around in their pocket! Not a gate. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Where did all the orange bits come from? I have not had a carrot in years. Blah. Ow! That hurts. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work.
Willy, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. I can't concentrate over that racket. Uh, you have to change the music to my favorite. I love theremin music. <laughs> I work best when it's playing. That doesn't seem to work. Come back here. Hey, stop. Damn broken window. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. I need to be higher to jump on it. You! I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Safety first! That's as far to the left I can move it. They'll have to push it to move it to the right. Hi there. Hey, spotter! You're in the wrong spot! You want me to break my neck? Be careful. Okay then. Here I go. Got it! Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? <laughs> huh, stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries, but I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. 
I have big hair. He does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman look-alike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatzos. Fatso? That's an incredibly hurtful and vulgar word to use. It's not something that any decent people say in public. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. No one's giving any bums money. They live off scraps like the rest of us. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Bloop, bloop, and bleep, bloop! It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. Wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, and where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart. This won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey! Oh my! Thank you! Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog! But you could just walk into any toy store and buy that already! Second place is Corey! Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Uh, uh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Saikin. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. Hi, anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. How much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. If I thought selling my soul could solve the problem, I would have done it a long time ago. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Big deal. I only read my own comic. Okay. I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Good. Bye. Look at my first edition comic book of me. 
It's got to be worth a fortune. Wow. A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a ripoff. Feds. Carry this for me. Special announcement. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder the f circus freak will climb the f ladder waste of my f time all this f climbing just to solve a f puzzle f for making me do this Whatever. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Climb. I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. Hey, you have that great theremin music playing. Okay, hand it over. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. Ugh, what is that awful noise? The feds must be trying to brainwash me. What are you doing in my control booth? Federal agent investigating suspicious activity. Leaving now. All done. How'd this get here? 
Okay, all back to normal again. It looks like the battery is dead. I can't move it with my hands. It's rusted in place. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this... Pitten Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. This is the life. That's a bit strange. What was that? It's time to oh. What on earth is all that? That poor man! I've got to help a boo him! Hello, Acme Maintenance? It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? You're supposed to be a 24-hour service Arito Abu! Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? Huh. 
Well, maybe I imagined it. I heard a rumor your maintenance people aren't available tonight. Why don't you try the Pigeon Brothers? Why, Abu, that's exactly what we need! Thank you so much, Abu. Last week on Hospital Hydra. I turned. What was that? Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. That poor man. Maybe these new people can help Abu him. Poultry Brothers plumbing, Abu? We've got a maintenance emergency, Abu, right now. You can be here right away. Thank Abu you. We received a signal that you're in need of some paranormal electrical help. Thanks. Let me know when you're done. Dig in! It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. It won't open. The safe is locked. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. It's now filled to the brim with radioactive waste. Thank you. 
This trophy means a lot to me, so take good care of it, please. Better not contaminate the water while someone's watching. Pizza coupons! Hey, Ransom, you want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. I'll take a coupon, as long as I can shove it up your ass. Hey, not cool, man. You shouldn't eat so much pizza. It's getting hard to tell where the costume ends and your skin begins, pizza face. You are being way harsh, dude. Quit it. Seriously, it looks like your dad the pizza. Oh, with that chunky face, I'm guessing he had your mom Chicago style. Ransom, you are such a freaking jerk. Why did you always have to take it too far? Huh? This is why you have no friends. Don't leave town. What the f You can't carry this Ransom, you, you freaking jerk! I shouldn't let you in after all the hard times you gave me. Okay, come on in. No pizza jokes, though. Sure thing, pizza face. And don't forget to take your goodie bag before leaving. We're starting the meeting now. Please, gather around.
Hello all, thank you for coming to this very important informational meeting. I'm Brett Lockdown, and that's my brother Chet guarding the elevator. <laughs> Hiya. First I have to ask, any feds here? No way. All right then, let's begin. Have you heard the signals? The government is controlling your mind. They are taking away your free choice. We are becoming mindless sheep with no control over our destiny. Fight back. Are you with us? Yeah. Squawk. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah. That's all for now. Stay vigilant. And don't forget to take a goodie bag before you leave. Squawk. Hey, no pinching. No pushing. Out of the way. No pushing. No shoving. Ouch. Ouch. Eek. Ow. Hard to unwrap. Hey! It's a Dortron 3000, but it's missing its tube. It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. Wait, I've seen a picture of one of these somewhere. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Ricky, take a look at my t-shirt. Can you make the tube in the schematic? Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. Yes, I can make this tube. Won't be a jiffy. Here's the PF001 tube, exactly how Chuck designed it. Thank you. It fits perfectly. The doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be stuck. It opened just a little more. It opened. 
opened a little more. <clears throat> I think someone can squeeze through the opening now, but it's not gonna be me. Reset. Damn. Whoops. I can squeeze through the opening now. Holy! Oh, you said it, clown. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. I don't want to carry this anymore. I don't want to carry this anymore. You take this for a while. can't go out there. Those SRO-1 robots would kill me. I'll need to find a manual to reprogram the robots without killing us all. Warning, SR-01 robots in patrol mode. That jumper board is for an SR-01 robot security system. I'll need to find a manual to reprogram the robots without killing us all. I see there is a manual on the SR-01 security system. It's in section 2.1.
Now I can reprogram those guard robots. Warning, SR-01 robots in patrol mode. Danger, danger, SR-01 robots in attack mode. SR-01 robots in maintenance mode. It is now safe to enter factory. That should disable the robots. It looks all clear now. It's locked with a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. Nothing happens. It doesn't work in that. I don't think this glass has been washed. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. I'd have to pick it up first. It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful mind, a mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin.
take cover! It's gonna blow! I'm not going in there. My evil computer-controlled robot arms are too powerful for you! You are... I don't have enough to carry already. There's no more fingerprint powder left. Better dust it for fingerprints first. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Thanks a lot. That worked! There's something inside.
You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. Hey! Wait for me! I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say I. 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 Abstain. So be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. Clever, you crashed my computer! Five, four, three, two, one, emergency reboot. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillotron 3000! PM. <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom, TM. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! You will never get past my searing lasers of death, TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You will never defeat me. There is no way to get past my lasers of death, TM. There is no way to get past my lasers of death, TM. Take that! Pounce right off! Didn't feel a thing! Didn't feel a thing! You're cheating! Ha! Didn't feel a thing! PA! Pounce right off! You're cheating! Pounce right off! Didn't feel a thing! Ye This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Bring it on. I can take the heat. Can you? This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is on. I am impossible to touch while superheated. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Dolores, it's not too late to join me and merge with the mind of Pillotron 3000, TM. I share the intelligence of Pillotron 3000, TM, and it shares mine! Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. You will never de- 
Dolores, join me and we can rule the world together! Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible! You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> Death is all that awaits you! You can't defeat me, Dolores! You should have listened, Dolores! Shutting me down will only make me stronger! Death! Help me, Dolores! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Death is all that awaits you now. Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. Save me, Dolores. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. Help me, Dolores. Save me, Dolores! Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. You tried to kill us. Why should I save you? Because I discovered something you'll want to know about. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two... How can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Agricultural investment? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? You mean it was pirated? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. That's okay. Pirates wouldn't have bought it anyway. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. That's nuts. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes. There are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? 
And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people. Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck and hurry. I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Brad. It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. It's a Game of the Year award. Best game of 1988. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Give it to someone to say I'm sorry. It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? 
Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Oh my god! We won! I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. That tickled. I got this for you, Sandy. Look. I'm not one to get all apologetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show and maybe not be such a He deserves one last chance, sugar cakes. Okay, Ransom, but only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brother Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Hey, you! Kid with a crappy wheelchair. You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. Hey, you! Dude with a stupid mustache. You know, if you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was on top of the world. 
and everyone loved him. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like new ghost found some spunk. We're all sick of your bullying. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. You clearly have some self-esteem issues. I've about had enough of you, new ghost. Everyone hates you. Okay, that kind of hurt. We all just want to move on. Really? Am I that bad? We're not going to be ruled by you anymore. I just want to see my wife again. I'm lonely, and I miss her. I died, and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. Dolores. Oh, Dad. It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know, dead. And I think your uncle had something to do with it. It's okay. I think I know what is going on. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out, we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. I know he was. A simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye, Dad. Maybe I should save the game first. Oh no! 
This can't be good. The game is glitching. Tubular. Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world, the game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. Let's end this. <laughs>